Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be unboxing an all-new Premier Collection edition of the KJV Thompson Chain Reference Bible from Zondervan. Let's dive in. Let's set this aside. This is a big box. Look at this. Take the box. Awesome. <laughs> this is a big Bible, and it is soft and floppy. I mean, this is a massive Bible. <laughs> Okay, this is like the third or fourth video that I've done about the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. Really great classic reference uh, study Bible with these cool chain references as part of the text that's been around for a really long time. So it kind of made news a couple years ago because Zondervan purchased the rights to the Thompson Chain from the original company, Kirk Bride, and announced that they were going to redesign it and release it in a bunch of new translations and everything. So the first video I did was with this one, this yellow copy. This is the KJV Thompson Chain Reference Bible, the same Bible that's in here, but it's the the old design. They basically, once they got the rights to it, Zondervan re-released it um, just with some new hardcover bindings and some different things like that. But then they set out to redesign everything. So then I reviewed this one, which is the NIV, the revised and updated edition. They did a full um, overhaul with new typesettings, revisions, um, not like a ton of new content, but kind of revising and updating certain things. I did a review of this one when they released it earlier this year. They started with the new international version. Well, now they've got the KJV Thompson Chain Reference Bibles coming out, the fully revised and updated editions of those, and they sent me the Premier Collection edition of it. So like the nice premium goatskin editions. I'm going to do an unboxing video. I'm also going to put links to my full reviews that I've done before because those really walk you through how this Bible works and all of the steps. I'll put all that links and things in the description. I'd also encourage you, I, I want you to watch this video. I don't want you to press pause, but I also want you to know that my friend Randy Brown over at Bible Buying Guide has done a lot of new content on these new Bibles. He's, he's gotten all of them and showed them all. He, his videos are really great. They're really helpful too. He's kind of the, the, the master when it comes to understanding the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. He's the Yoda, right? I'm Luke Skywalker. Randy, you're Yoda. <laughs> How about that? Okay, are you ready? I got my B cam right here. Let's dive in. Cutting this open. It's always fun to get a new Bible from Zondervan. Set this aside. This is a big box. Look at this. I'm going to have to shimmy this out of here. Whoops. Okay. Take the box. Awesome. Whoa, this is a big box. Wow. That looks great. Premium goatskin, known and trusted, King James Version, Thompson Chain Reference Bible. Such a classic Bible, really nice and big. I'm going to read a couple of the features to you. Easy to understand chain references. It's a really cool system where it kind of takes you topically through the Bible to the next place where it talks about the same topic. Alphabetical and numerical indexes that highlight study material over 8,000 topics are in this Bible. Extensive study resource section, including biographical sketches, illustrated studies. So it's more than just a reference Bible. It's, it's like a hybrid reference study Bible to the nth degree. There's really nothing else like it. A new two-color page de design, book introductions, maps, line match text, hand bound in the premium premier collection in goat skin with spine hubs, it's smythe sewn, it's edge line construction, 36 GSM premium Bible paper. This is absolutely, it sounds gorgeous. Nine and a half point typeface. Are you ready? There we go. Okay. I'm going to get this out. I love how these Bibles come wrapped up from Zondervan in the Premier K. It's, it basically feels like construction paper, but it's such a nice little design. What I do is I pull, instead of ripping that sticker off, I get it from the side like this and it kind of pops out and then you just kind of let oh the weight of this one <laughs> that is nice that is very very nice it has a lot of extra yap they've done that with a few of these so it's not a full yap but look at that nice extra yap on there super soft goat skin look at that beautiful this is a big bible and it is soft and floppy i mean i can like roll that up Really lovely red under gold art gilding. Yep, raised spine hubs. It says Thompson Chain sideways right there. I like that. Raised spine hubs, super soft and floppy. It's got a gold gilt line around the inside on the leather. It's edge lined, like they said, smite stone. It's got three. This is a massive Bible. <laughs> It is absolutely huge and thick and 36 GSM paper from the outside, right? Like, it just looks like a big black leather Bible, which is nice. It's it's really subtle. But what you're not going to realize is that the inside of this thing has just such cool features and such a unique thing. Wow. 
That's nice. That's like an extra piece of paper. That's like something extra in there. Presentation page. The Thompson Chain Reference Bible. Really cool title page. Originally compiled and edited by Frank Charles Thompson. So there you have the information in the front. Kind of a nod to where this Bible came from, which is cool. You've got copyright page. Little Oh, I love this little chain reference logo that they've got in there on the copyright page. That's cool in there. And you get all the information about the contents. Let's see here. Comprehensive Bible help. So it's big index and, and contents page. A little intro about the Bible. Everything they did when they revised it. Now, a lot of people have asked me about this. I talked about this when I did this earlier this year with the NIV edition. Um, complete, they completed some change that were broken. They updated the listing of references um, and inclusion of all topics in the margins. So that's all there. Um, they consistently they made, made the names more consistent for the different topics because some of them were were not the same throughout the Bible. They added the book introduction. So there's just they didn't like do a ton of new content, but they just cleaned everything up. It was a thorough overhaul, really making it look nice. So then they give you a, an article here about understanding the margins and the topics and how it works. Again, I'll put a link to the video where I did where I show you how it works in the old Bible because that looks that's pretty simple to follow. Um, how to use the Thompson chain. I would definitely encourage you if you get one of these um, to read these opening pages. Can it kind of helps you walk through what you need to do. And it says Old Testament and then you get Genesis. Really cool intro. So here's your introductory. It, it tells you the author, date written, the purpose, who it was written to, main themes, key words, um, and then it gives you a synopsis and different lessons and major chains that you're going to find in here. So that is what the introduction looks like. That's nice. It's less of like a paragraph format and more like bullet points book by book. And then you get the text. I really love the two color design. So there's red accents all over the page. You get um, headings in the, uh, and then the, the different chains or the things that you see out in the references. So there's the first page of Genesis. So the text is the two center columns. The chain references are in the margins. And they have those little red numbers to kind of highlight and show you where you're going. And they basically lead you on a chain through the Bible. It feels to me like a Bible scavenger hunt, which is really cool because you have a lot of different things you can check out and search through. Really nice. I see red verse numbers to indicate that we start a new paragraph. So instead of pill crows or paragraph markers, they use a red verse to show new paragraphs. It's very, um, the KJV... Uh, comfort print typeface has a nice classic look to it, which I like. It's something that 2K Denmark designed for all of the um, Zondervan Bibles, and it looks really nice. So it it feels it's updated and modern, but it still feels really really nice and and classic, which I like. There's pages like this that just like this is a lot of information. Like you have the text, and then you have chains all over the place, and that's what this Bible offers. You can really dive in and and get some some unique stuff out of this Bible, which I think. It is really, really cool. This is absolutely gorgeous. Big, look how flat that opens. Like I'm in Jeremiah, so it's the middle of the Bible, but this is really beautifully done. The paper is super opaque. Let me show you these pages. Super opaque, easy to read. They've put a lot, I mean, I'm surprised that they were able to get, what did I say, nine point typeface or a nine and a half? A nine and a half point typeface is really big in a Bible that's got this much content. Now. The chain references are not a nine and a half. I bet that's probably more like a seven, seven and a half. But this looks great. This is really, really cool. Same, same theme. It's a verse by verse setting all the way throughout. In the, uh, I'm wondering if they do like a poetic. No, they keep everything pretty straightforward, like a classic verse by verse, even in the books of poetry. This looks great. Revelation ends. They get this whole Bible done. Shockingly, and let me find it here, the last page of the Bible ends on page 1501. This is a lot of Bible to get into 1500 pages. And then you get into this entire section right here. Look, that's a lot of Bible. This entire section right here is going to give you everything you need for the Thompson chain, reference additional material and stuff like that. And it's three different columns of lots of different things. The comprehensive Bible helps, the principles of Bible study, alphabetical index of topics, numerical index of topics, condensed outline of the Bible, Bible character studies, Bible harmonies and illustrated studies, Hebrew times, season, and festivals. I love that. KJV concordance, 
maps, index, and color maps. There's over 500 pages of additional content in the back of this Bible that you can, I should probably do a video where I just dive into all of this stuff and just focus on the end of the Thompson chain because it's really cool. Lots of old, interesting material in this Bible. Charts, graphs, maps, like really, really neat stuff. The really beautiful journeys of Paul and stuff like that. This looks, this looks really, really sharp. And then you get a classic concordance and Bible maps and all of that stuff as well. This is great. Really, really great Bible from Zondervan. The, a very, very premium edition of the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. It's out now in KJV as well as NIV. They've got a lot of different bindings. I'll put links in the description of the video to places where you can see all of the different offerings that they have, the different bindings, because they make a lot of different ones that are available. That way you can check out. I think there's even uh, like more, like there's several different editions of this. I don't know exactly which ones they have, but this one is over the top. Really, really beautiful. If you have any questions about this, Drop those in the comments, and I will get back to you with an answer. If you want to see some photos of this, check out Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook. I'll post some photos there as well as on my website, BibleReviewBlog.com. And as always, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button for me. That tells the algorithm here on YouTube that more people should watch this video. And definitely consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I've got a ton of great content you can surf around on my channel, find unboxing videos like this, full Bible reviews, and lots of other fun Bible-related content. My goal at Bible Review Blog is to help you find a Bible that's right for you. So maybe that's what the Thompson Chain Reference Bible is. This is a classic. It's been around a long time, but it stood the test of time. And so it could probably work really well for a lot of people. This was so much fun. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.